It's tour day. It's tour day. Don't don't look at my streak. I've lost it a few times already, but it's okay. I got my trophy. Don't mind this. Don't mind that. It's just video stuff. Eh, hello. Everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back. A mermaid bark. And today we're finally doing another Blockboard Tours episode after a while. It's the second one of the summer. We're pretty much nearing the end of summer here. But I'm here with the amazing Dianasaur PH, which you guys haven't seen on the channel for a long time. And I haven't I haven't seen her in a long time. We're gonna be touring her mermaid castle today. This is this is beautiful. I think I've seen a picture on Twitter as well. If you guys want to check out her channel, I'll be leaving all of the social media links in the description. Please go check her out, show her some love and support. And she's definitely one of the amazing creators here in the Blockwork community. So, all right, without further ado, I think she is going to have us uh, explore on her own. And apparently there's like a secret prison. So if I have trouble finding that, then she will help us find that. But anyways, yeah. So this castle have three bedrooms, a throne, a kitchen, a dining, garden pool, secret dungeon, prison. Wow, I should have dressed up as a merman or something. Okay, once again, I'm gonna I say this a lot in my tour episodes, but you know, it's it's normal. But look at that details. Look at the detailing of these buildings. Look at that. You can see like the vine. There's a tower here. Tower, tower. Up next, you know. Look at this entrance too, by the way. Look at that seashell. Very grand entrance for sure for a castle. Oh, <gasps> look at that! What? Is that a mermaid playing the harp? That is beautiful. I love that statue. Wow. I wonder how long this took to build, but yeah, like a little fountain here. These as well, like little seahorses. <gasps> oh my gosh, seahorses. Yeah, seriously, look at all of the coral, coral reefs out here. We even got more statues spraying water out here. What is that? Oh, it's a dolphin! <gasps> it's a dolphin. I'm trying to use more words than amazing and crazy because that's the only two words I use. But this, this is magnificent. See, coming up with more adjectives, more dolphins to welcome you to the castle. All right, let's go ahead and go up the stairs. This very nice grand staircase here. And let's go on in. <gasps> oh my gosh, is this based off like Little Mermaid, you know, Ariel and her father? I forgot what's his name. Tried it, Triton? Triton. <laughs> what was Ariel's dad's name? King Triton. I didn't, I didn't forget exactly. His name was Triton because, you know, he's carrying a trident. Triton? Trident. But he's on his seahorse carriage vehicle here. The statues are super, super creative and I just super detailed as well. See, I like to take my time and look at everything. Shell on the, the ceiling work here. The detailing, structural roles. I, I would not have the patience for this, by the way. I would not. Super nice. So let's explore that first floor. Let's explore the bottom floor. So over here, you got a nice seating area with custom furniture. Mermaid shell sofas. Clam sofas. Shell sofas. I think the starfish. They're pretty much like starfish. Then look at this beautiful fountain. Once again, another mermaid playing the harp. Got the custom wall decals as well. And then back here <gasps> oh my gosh okay let's take a look at the back like balcony pretty look at this all right where do i go first there's like two staircases leading to place i'm gonna go over here first let's go down the spiral staircase got some barrels down here <gasps> oh my gosh this is where like the living places you got a dining area the kitchen so much food oh my gosh so many food and you got like a custom refrigerator right here it's in the shape of a shell as well got a shell handle too i'm gonna have trouble with all of my my words here kitchen i love the colors very very yes very underwater under the sea vibes you got a cauldron here as well. Here, oh, like a little aquarium. There's like a little aquarium here. And I love how she made really nice use of the transparent decals too. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know. I was just I was like, wow. Ooh, and then the nice door here. I rung the doorbell. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So when we go through this door, I love seeing, I love the floor. I just love everything. Like nothing is basic around here. 
But these builds, like these builders, they never have like basic stuff. They always go above and beyond. Another nice fountain, well decorated. And then you got like a grand dining room here. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna stand on the table. And then once again, custom chairs. I'm just pointing out the obvious. I need to stop. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a bad tour guide now. <gasps> Ooh, another statue. Wow. Is that a pearl? Just putting a pearl. Immaculate. Magnificent. Splendid. All right. I don't know. Let me let me double check to make sure. Oh, <gasps> I love these flowers. Okay, wait. Yeah. Once again, custom decals. Add it again. She's got like a custom potted plant here. Wait, what is this door? <laughs> what is this door? Let me see. Oh, through this door. <gasps> okay. Glad. Good thing I came back. All right. So this is a bedroom. Very nice bedroom here. So got a nice giant bed, a custom bed. Got some nice seating here as well. And then here's like a, we got nice vanity, like a, like a dressing room, pretty much a dressing room. I just love all her custom furniture too. Look how tall this shelf is, this dresser. It's the bathroom. Ooh. <gasps> oh my gosh. If you guys are mermaids, this is a perfect house for you. A shower so I don't stink. And she's, you know, used the new bathroom stuff. And yeah, bedroom, bathroom, dressing room. Oh my God, there's a spider in my room. <laughs> there was a spider in my room. We're gonna go down this spiral staircase now and look at this beautiful, like a pool, right? This is the pool area. It's like a little garden pool area. I got it. <gasps> is that the secret place for the dungeon? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I would love to go here and like literally read a book and that's why the bookshelves are here. This is a perfect place to just chill, sit down and read. Honestly, is this like a, is this like a gazebo itself or like a pergola of some sort? Wow. Nice use of the chandelier too. I love the colors. Okay, let's go ahead and go down here and then we got our, so oh, it just leads you back outside. Okay. Wow. I'm pretty sure though the dungeon is underwater, like a secret dungeon. If I was a dungeon in a mermaid castle, I would be underwater. We will come back to the water soon enough. Oh yeah, and she made use of the, the swinging bench. I'm, I'm telling you guys, that bench is a little too low. I don't know. I wish you could like rescale it still. Let's actually go. Oh wait, yeah, let's finally go up here now. Let's go up here. So we got the throne. Got the nice throne. Oh, I am the king of the mermaid castle throne and more scenery. Let's go down here and then we're gonna go out here. Let's go upstairs now. I'm very curious. When you come up here, Oh my gosh, more rooms, more rooms to explore. Oh yeah, there's like three bedrooms, right? It's three bedrooms, a throne, a kitchen, dining, garden pool, and secret dungeon. Okay, so we have to explore a couple more bedrooms. A very nice hallway. And when you go on in, it's another bedroom. It's a, wow, this is a very spacious bedroom. The clam bed. I just, I, I love how creative she gets. There's like not a dull thing in this build. And then nice seating in front of the bed. I love the, uh, the curtain slash drapes, I guess around here wow i would not think of to, i would not think to do that of course i wouldn't of course it comes with its own ensuite bathroom see she turned the most like this tub honestly i kind of don't like it but she turned it to something magical for sure this is incredible this is awesome the dolphins are pouring water in for you there's like water coming through there oh my gosh the toilet toilet is pretty much very fancy as well the royal royal throne you know very royal oh yeah by the way all the statues were made by float roblox and he helped me with some of the corals love floats works i love float all right so that's this bedroom is anything else oh over here Ooh, another little reading area on this uh balcony gazebo balcony on this balcony in this area wait it's like a tower and then on the other side of this balcony oh over here okay we got a makeup area yes get glam everything you need is here and over here you can just take a good look at yourself with these nice mirrors so pretty guys so pretty there's that and we go to the room right across and then this is the other bedroom oh my gosh i love this bed this one looks super fluffy i would jump in this one for sure i th this is like inspiring me to step up my like custom build and stuff even though i probably won't but you know it's very inspiring to look at so this one also comes with its own ensuite bathroom of course why not once again i love these coral plants yeah i'm gonna try and use more custom wall decals too so once again another makeup uh dressing room pretty much another area to sit down and just like stare beyond the balcony tower 
All right, I think I've seen all the bedrooms. I'm sure I'm sure I didn't miss anything quite yet. I hope I don't miss anything. I will be devastated if I miss something in this build because I miss stuff in updates. I definitely don't want to miss anything in up. Now we need to find the secret dungeon pool. So wait, the secret dungeon prison? Like I said, I think if I were to be a prison in a mermaid castle, I would totally be either behind a like a secret bookshelf wall or underwater. So let's take a look underwater. Oh my gosh, yes. You know, I need to go under here anyways because look at all of the work that was put under here too. Just like all of the plants, all of the coral. I will not struggle. I will not struggle to find it. I hope I don't. Wow, look at that. That would hurt. You said I wouldn't find it. So I, I'm pretty sure I probably won't find it. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. This looks like a boat. Is this a boat? Oh, it's a giant barrel. Oh, it's a giant chest. Like a giant chest. I feel like I'm in a fish tank. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a fish tank. This is the type of stuff you would have in a fish tank too. There are secret doors now. So it literally could have just been anywhere. I could have passed it. I could have passed it. I want to find it first. I want to try. Is the prison underwater? Pass it. Hmm, maybe. You did the eyes emoji. Am I like near it or something? I'm gonna cut to the part where I find it, you know? I'm gonna cut to the part where I find it because this is not it. This is gonna take me 10,000 years. It's near the treasure chest. Is it up here? <laughs> Let's not mess with that. Oh, oh, oh. I did that. I opened the door, okay? I opened the door. We found it. It's an underwater jail prison. It's here. Oh gosh, there's spiders here. I've been a bad bad tour guide so i deserve to be in here wow oh my gosh this is pretty i mean for a jail underwater not that bad i like the colors that's why wow even more cells with skulls in them and spiders this is fascinating stuff very very fitting we found it at least you know is that near the treasure chest? That's somewhat near it, yeah. That's well, anyway, guys, that will wrap up today's Blockberg uh, Tours episode with the one and only Dinosaur PH with her beautiful, beautiful mermaid castle. Once again, I'll be putting all of her social media links in the description for you to check out easily. Just, yeah, just go look at all of her builds if you if you haven't already. Once again, thank you, Diana, for allowing me to tour this place. It was a great honor, and and I can't wait to see more future builds. Yeah, if you guys did enjoy this episode, you found it inspiring anyway, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up, and make sure you hit the subscribe button too, because it is completely free. Thank you all for taking the time out here to watch this, and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Peter Brad and Dinosaur signing out. Goodbye, everybody. This is the type of stuff I dream of doing in my head, but I don't end up actually doing it because, uh, you know, <laughs> that's a lot of structural.